a number of the students that I work with in my classes have been playing video games their entire lives, and so many of them come into my video game classes with a tremendous number of really interesting things to say about video games, and they haven't necessarily had the opportunity to um, articulate it yet, but they come alive in, when they are given an essay assignment that um, asks them to say something smart and insightful about the games that they play, and in fact they have lots and lots of fascinating material that they're able to produce in these instances. And so I think this really suggests the way in which we might be able to mobilize student interest in video games and video game technologies for a whole range of different purposes. So we also look at video games, for example, the game Portal that enacts a conversation with American poetry and that it has very explicit references to poetry by uh, Longfellow and Emily Dickinson. And so the students will read the original poetry alongside playing the video game and try to understand what the meaning of this uh, modification of the poetic text inside the video game uh, might be and how do we understand the relationship of American poetry to American video games. So, so as a professor of English, I'm really interested in the way that um, narrative transforms relative to new media environments and how that kind of transformation has happened throughout history think about the way that um, the printing press changed literary practices, and we can think about the way that radio train changed literary practices, or how television and cinema changed literary practices, and now I think it's important to understand how the invention of video games for the, um, over the last several decades has been changing literary practices, and so we can think about the novels and poetry that now um, themselves are responding to video game culture, or, or including forms that are associated with video games in what is otherwise a very conventional kind of literary um, practice. On the other hand, we are seeing video games that are trying to um, create really active conversations with literary culture, appropriating allusions to classic literary works in themselves, or um, developing very robust complex narrative structures and psychological depth to the characters and so forth, and really trying to imagine themselves as something like literary objects in in video game form, and so we even now see some games advertising themselves as in as um, playable fiction and these types of things. So um, I'm, I'm very curious about the way that media ecologies um, shape narrative among a variety of different um, communication forms at any given moment.